All right, so this is our first 3D printer in the office. Well, I've never really thought of owning one because first of all, I thought they were actually pretty expensive. And second, I really do not know what to do with it even if we really own one. Until Anet has decided to send one over for our evaluation. And I thought, hey, why not? I try out something with a 3D printer. And this is some of the stuff that I have printed it out during this one month period, which I took long enough to explore what I can do with this. And I thought 3D printing is finally fun. And with this printer, it is a really affordable one. So I've got to admit that I ran into some problems when I first assembled the ANET 84 printer, mainly because the manual that ANET has provided here, sadly, is not the clearest manual of all. I mean, even though it has figures all over here on which parts to insert into and what you need to do uh, thereafter, it is not clear enough. And for a first time user, it's not really too user friendly. But Thankfully, I managed to find a video on YouTube by this channel called Just Vlad. He happened to unbox the very same 3D printer and show us how he installed it. So I followed that uh, walkthrough video all along and finally I got it up in about two hours, which is pretty noob and <laughs> takes a long time, but it is what it is. So this is how the ANET ET4 looks like after you get it out of the box. So yes, ANET, you gotta improve your manuals in the future for new users. The ET4 is a filament-based 3D printer, which is why you're seeing this huge row of filament right at the back over here. This is provided by ANET, by the way, but I believe it should be compatible with other filaments that you buy out there, right? And this is how you put the filament on top here. So um, to turn on the ANET ET4, it's pretty straightforward. Once you've got everything set up, make sure all the wires are connected properly. All you need to do is to turn on the power button there's a power button there's a power switch right over here which you need to flip out and you start to hear the fans running uh, at the bottom of the machine so coming over to the front of the 3d printer here there is a small 2.8 inch display even though it's not the largest out there i've seen 3d printers that comes with four inch displays and so on i'm not sure why you would actually need that if you just need to print that. Although a larger display means you could, prob you could probably see the 3D object here, but no matter. So you do have a couple of things right over here, including uh, choosing the language that you want to, right? It supports Chinese, English, and several other languages. And let's go over to the settings right over here. So this is where you can actually adjust the position of the, of the 3D printer's head right over here. And this is information. And finally, you can do a firmware upgrade using the uh, using a, a USB drive or whatever. So now I'm going to print something really simple with the ET4 printer. And I have the Ultimega Cura software, which is the recommended software to be used with the 3D printer. And this software, of course, supports a variety of 3D printers out there. So when you install the app, make sure you have your preset configured on the software already because this this will have all the printing parameters all set in all right and all you need to do is to just import any 3d object files or stl files right into the software itself so the reason why we need to use this software is because the et4 uses a file extension called G code, which saves all the printing instructions into that single file. And this software is the one that converts it into the G code file extension. So what I'm going to do here is to import this simple chest STL file, which is a pretty nice and simple chest right over here. We're just dragging and dropping into the software just like this. All right, there you go. The chest is right at the center of the printing plate. So I can just zoom in to take a look at how it looks like which is pretty cool. All right, so this is how it looks like when it is at the center of the printing plate. Of course, you can add an additional uh, simple chest right next to it, but I really don't recommend that. I would recommend that you print one object at one time because that will keep things less complicated, All right? So when you zoom in and you just uh, just try to pan it. You can see that the support is actually quite okay. You don't necessarily need any support, but as always, I do recommend that you click on the support checkbox right over here to ensure that uh, the bottom gets printed out really nicely. All right, so once you're done with this, all you need to do is to click on the slice button right over here. And it will take a while. And once it's done, it will tell you the amount of time that it needs to print this entire chest. And since I already inserted my SD card right into my card reader here, I'm just gonna 
press on save to removable drive. So once I'm done, let's press on eject and I can safely take my SD card out of my SD card reader. So before we proceed to print the simple chest, I've basically unloaded the red color filament that we just had it right on here uh, because I just want to show you guys on how you load the filament into the ET4 printer, which is actually pretty straightforward. So let's just put this filament back on this holder here and you can see that there's one part and I'm going to insert it into this hole right here. You do see that there is a directional arrow here that points how you insert the filament so make sure you align the holes properly and make sure the red filament hits the gear hits the edge of the golden gear right over here and once you're done just leave it and come over to the front of the 3d printer and on the screen here all i need to do is to tap on the prepare button go to ch filler tab and tap on load and wait to and it's going in because it's, it's temperature is really there so it's slowly loading into the machine as you can see the gear is actually moving right now pushing the filament right into the tube and onto the nozzle head so once the filament is successfully loaded all you need to do is to insert the micro sd card into the sd card reader here and go back to the main menu on the screen and tap on the print button and finally go to the last file because that's usually the latest file that you save through the ultimaker cura software that's actually pretty simple and all you need to do is to choose the file and tap on ok Right, so this is the printing menu. It will take a little bit of time to heat up since the nozzle head has already heated up. This is the nozzle head temperature and this is the, uh, the heating plate temperature which I'm going to increase to about 75 degrees Celsius because we are in an air conditioned room. So, it, so in this case, it will print it more successfully because if you are in an aircon room and the heat bait temperature is not high enough, chances are is that your printing might actually fail and your you know the filament doesn't melt properly that's the problem of a low temperature while you are in an air conditioner so let's just wait for a bit to go all up and the printer will start printing our simple chest So there you have it, this is how the simple chest looks like. It's pretty small and cute as well. It's a good decor for your office table or even put it on a car dashboard. Looks really nice. Um, so my thoughts about the ANET ET4 printer is that this is a decent printer by all means. I mean, we had a lot of trial and errors in printing out our stuff because um, you gotta know how to get around the settings and the manual clearly doesn't tell you how to do all that when the printing fails. But of course, um, we did uh, check with ANET on how to print out something and they did guide us through on the settings that we need to look out when printing a certain object, which is why we are able to successfully print out some of the stuff that we find online, like this really cool uh, Darth Vader like model here it's not exactly Darth Vader by the way but it looks pretty cool as you can see and probably the most useful thing that we have printed out is this headphone holder we have printed out basically for everyone in the office it works really cool and I definitely love how the ANET ET4 printer can do for the office so that's pretty much um, my first look and how you can use the ANET ET4 printer to print out nice and great 3D objects for you know for anything whether it is a model or two for your gadgets so do let me know your thoughts about the 3d printer what do you want to know about it if you have any questions as well do leave them in the comment section down below and we'll try our best to answer them as for now thanks for watching this video be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tech videos coming right up and follow us on the usual social media channels i'm warren with kl gadget tv and i will see you in our next video